Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Mikhail looked at the monitor carefully. His restaurant is only a month old, and there is still no opportunity to hire a real security or security service. Of course, he knew perfectly well that employees could cause harm. Some are bigger, some are smaller. People steal very often. There are different reasons for this, but he could not afford to cause something wrong in his restaurant because of this. And now, when everything turned out even better than he planned, he watched his dishwasher drag a big bag to the exit. And only three days after he put the cameras. So she's been carrying it like that for a whole month. He decided to get up. The theft must be stopped at the root. It's strange, of course. The girl is very young, and it doesn't look like she was like that. But apparently, she was very skillfully hiding her true face. After half an hour, the restaurant closes. The cleaning lady and the administrator leave last. By the way, the cleaning lady goes out through another door, which the administrator then closes. Although the door is not open from the outside. Here is an explanation why she is not aware. Just does not escort this worker. Everything is going so well for the cleaning lady. He would just have time. Mikhail lived literally in three crossroads from his restaurant. It was exactly five minutes by car. He drove up, turned off the headlights, and began to wait. From minute to minute, the very janitor was supposed to appear. Valia carefully fixed the cap. Well, that's all. Today my girl behaved well. Be patient a little. Now mom will pass by a little and pull you out. Valia checked everything again. The holes made in the bag are not closed. Angelina is comfortable. Half an hour ago, Varia fed her, which means that the baby will sleep well. She understood perfectly well that it was impossible, that if someone finds out, they will just take away her daughter from Varia. But there was no other way. Varia's milk disappeared immediately. The girl didn't know what to do for a long time, and then she found out about the opening of a new restaurant and about the set of staff. When she came to the interview, she still did not know how she could fulfill her duties. She really needed a job, but the neighbor warned that she could sit with Angelina no more than twice a week. And then Valia will clean up for this. When Valentina saw the place where she would work and realized that the janitor would be alone, a plan was born in her head. He was so unreal, so dangerous that Valia even got confused. And then she tried. Angelina was only a month old, when she came to work with her for the first time, her baby was so calm that she lay quietly sleeping in the back room where the stock of dishes was. There was enough space there, light too, and the purity of the value was supported. Valentina was left without parents when she was still a child. She lived with her grandmother. She had a romantic nature. The old lady was not interested in such things as life. At the age of, Valia did all the housework herself. Andre conquered her right away. She not only fell in love, she went crazy. The grandmother had not been around for a year, and the girl immediately suggested that Andre move to her. He agreed. However, as soon as he learned that Valia was pregnant, he disappeared in an unknown direction. Valia didn't go to the police. It was so embarrassing that she tried not to go out at all. She almost made it, and everything would be fine if those people didn't come to her. They wanted her to sell them an apartment. The girl was not going to sell anything, and they said that her car could accidentally crash on the street, and then her child would remain an orphan. On the same day, milk disappeared, completely, and then Valia realized, now the real test begins. Work became just a rescue. They paid every week. They didn't have to think about food, and they had enough. What will happen when Angelina turns three or four months old? Valia tried not to think. She is strong. She is smart. She will cope. Although, lately she was very doubtful that she is strong and smart. Valia carefully put the bag. She closed the door, turned around, and found the restaurant owner's nose. Oh, ouch. He teased her. Show me what you're carrying in your bag. No restaurant can withstand stealing in such volumes. Valia locked the bag with her. I've never stolen anything. Aren't you ashamed? I should be ashamed. Not you, but me. He laughed. Then he became serious. Show me what you're carrying in your bag, or I'll call the police. Valia sighed. There was nothing to do, especially since Angelina started to get in the bag. She sat down, opened the bag, and Mikhail sighed. A child? Where from? Is this yours? Is this you working with a child? Meanwhile, 
Valya took Angelino in her arms. I am fired. Wait, what are you? You immediately. Let me give you a lift. Do you live far away? No, right behind the corner. Well, then I'll walk you there. Give me that damn bag already. Mikhail understood perfectly well that it was not from a good life that Valya dragged such a little one to work. He himself went through a very difficult life with his parents as alcoholics. If they hadn't taken him from them, who knows, maybe he would have become the same as them. They got home, but Misha didn't think of retreating. He climbed up the right floor with Valya, and when the girl looked at him, she said, I would like to have a cup of tea. Valya shook her shoulders. She didn't feel sorry for the tea, but she couldn't really get over it. What if? Although no, he wouldn't let her work with a child anyway. She quickly changed Angelina's clothes, made her a little mixture. Just to sleep, she had just eaten recently and then went to the kitchen, where Mikhail was already brewing tea. He looked at her with joy. I was a little bossy here. Valya sat down and realized how tired she was, even not physically, but morally. All this tension is being recognized, not recognized, kicked out, not kicked out, and she herself did not understand how she suddenly cried. Oh my God, what should I do now? Misha sat down opposite, move her mug. Well, now tell me. What? She looked at him in surprise. That's it? From the very beginning? She was born, she was taught, and then she was taken care of. Valya spoke. She sometimes told while drinking tea. She spoke and understood how unfair she was. Everything about her is not like that of people. All through the all. Because he knew the unfairness of life to the fullest. So, a couple of days, stay at home, I'll call someone. And we need to come up with something for two days. Damn. Well, I can't leave you in such a situation. Especially since you wash the dishes well. Okay, I'll go. Good night. He quickly got up and left. Valya didn't even have time to thank him. She sat for a little longer and went to lock the door. There were several large books lying on the bedside table. Valya leaned against the wall and cried again. The next day, she still had to exchange one book. Angelina's temperature rose. The called doctor prescribed her with medicine and vitamins. The young mother had nothing left to do but run to the pharmacy while Angelina was sleeping. Fortunately, she had to get to the next door. She just closed the door behind her, as she was called. Her heart was pounding. She decided that this was Mikhail. Valya quickly looked in the mirror and opened the door. She immediately tried to close it, but the foot of a young man who smiled at her was in the way. Well, hello, lonely mother. Why do you meet guests so badly? He pushed her away, entered the apartment. They were standing at the table, and the girl started to lay out some papers on the table. Well, have you thought about it? I have. Get out of here, or I'll call the police. Well, call them, and we'll see. Just keep in mind, you are signing a sentence with the police. And think about the child. Valya was suffocated with outrage. Who are you? What do you want? I will not sell any apartment. You will. Just with every day of your persistence, your apartment becomes cheaper for you. So the sooner you agree, the more money you will get. The young man called Sumo, and Valya laughed although she was very scared. Are you kidding? This is the cost of the bathroom in this house. He was shocked. And in a couple of days, you will still agree. Only you will get even less. Get away. I'm not going to sell anything. He moved to her. Valia shrank. But then the young man somehow strangely jumped up and collapsed to the floor. Mikhail was standing behind him. He turned to those who were sitting at the table. Someone else to explain that the apartment is not for sale. The guests quickly disappeared, and Mikhail turned to her. Why didn't you tell me anything about them? I didn't know they would come again. Valya looked so scared. His heart shrank. So tender. So defenseless. Get ready. Where? Where do I have to go? He was so angry that Valya immediately cried. Sorry, go to my place. I almost never go home anyway, and it will be safer there for now. The devil knows that these crandles will still throw away. Valia obediently went to pack her things. After minutes, they left the apartment. The neighbor looked out on the site. Valia, not like Dad said. What is it? Now I don't need to sit with Angelina. And you won't come to clean up anymore? And the rocks were snow-white teeth. Exactly marked. Now you yourself will have to wash. The neighbor scaredly slammed the door. 
not a man, but some kind of beast, and he blocked the roller with such a connection, although it seems that another one was walking to her. She waved her hand. The devil will sort them out. Young people nowadays are so much better off not to climb. Angelina was looking around the big apartment. It's beautiful here. It's now. You should have seen it when you just bought it. Just the walls are all broken and overboard. By the way, this will be your room. He opened the door. Valia noticed a men's dress and slippers. So this is your room. Don't come to me. Not at work. It's big and warm. So you will live here, and I will move to that one. He showed the door on the other side. It's so uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to sleep on the ceiling. You can get out of here. I'll be right back. Misha went somewhere. Valya put things away, then went to the kitchen to drink water. In the sink in the... The potatoes were boiling in the pan, and Valya cut the salad, smiling to Angelina, who was lying on the kitchen couch under the bed sheets. The door slammed. Mikhail, who had been in the kitchen, fell asleep. He stretched his nose. I'm so hungry. Let's go faster. Valya grabbed Angelina's hand and followed him. There was a new bed and a wheelchair in the hallway, and there were several more bags in the bed apparently with clothes. What are you talking about? I don't have that kind of money. I don't know when I can give it back. Misha smiled. Strange women are creatures. Who asked you to give it back? After dinner, Valya and Misha began to make a pause. Misha was fooling around, and Valya was laughing. Even Angelina, who was lying on a big bed, was trying to say something in her own language. Valya didn't sleep at night. Mikhail didn't sleep. He suddenly realized that he is so good now, he is not alone in the house. Misha raised his elbows. Well, some time will pass, and Valya will want to return to herself. She is like that. She doesn't want to be someone else's. And he perfectly understood that she didn't want to leave. In the morning, after breakfast, Misha said as if by chance, we need to get married. The knife fell out of Valya's hand, and the bell rang in the middle of the floor. What? You need to marry, Angelina needs a father, and you need protection. Valya looked at him with huge eyes. She never thought that such proposals would happen. Misha lowered the fork and looked at her. Well, what could he say to her? That he fell in love as an idiot with a woman with a child who washed dishes in his restaurant? He tried to pick up some right words, but Valya suddenly pulled over the table and kissed him. Softly. Gently. Michaela as if hit her with a current. He removed her from himself. Took the phone. You can handle it without me. I have an important meeting. I will not be there today. Washing machine? Yes, look for a new one. Valya will not come out anymore. If you like the story, please support me with the thumb up button. And to find out about the release of new interesting stories, press the bell when subscribing. All the best to you.